Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the screen on an HP laptop. As you can see that there was an impact point right in the center and the entire screen is just shattered. All right, so how do you identify if it's the computer still in a working condition or maybe just the screen itself? I recommend you to connect to an HDMI. So that is the HDMI output. You might want to connect it to a monitor or a TV. And if you get a display of your laptop screen in a normal display on the external, then more likely that the screen, this is the, uh, the impact point and we need to get a new screen replacement. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the computer. I'll be holding the power button. Press and hold until the screen shuts off. All right, so disconnect the uh, charger. My recommendation is to disconnect the battery before you work on the screen. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll be using a metal prying tool. This is to just go underneath to open up the, uh, the, um, the, the rubber stopper. So this rubber stopper prevents the computer from sliding away. You need to remove that because there are hidden screw underneath them. All right, for some reason, this screw just came off. I'm not sure how it happened. Go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws. Make sure you remember where the screws located. And you want to do the same for the bottom, bottom part of the rubber. Once you have removed all the screws, let's go ahead and open up the back cover. All I did was just go underneath the, the plastic cover and just put it straight up. Once you have removed the back cover, go ahead and disconnect the battery. You definitely need to remove all the screws. At this point, you want to take the opportunity to clean off the fan. If your fan is full of dust or any like pet's fur on it, you might want to clean it out since you're already taking it apart. What I like to do is to put the cover back in because it does help to um, kind of hold things back together when you're removing the screen. The computer is quite dirty. I'm just going to push it all the dust here on the side. Okay, this is where we remove the LCD screen. This is the part where we're going to remove the bezel. Get the uh, metal prying tube. The goal is to go in between that bezel. What I recommend you to have is to wear um, protective eye protector, safety goggle protect your eyes at all times because when you're removing the uh, LCD screen there might be you know broken glass or uh, things that fly into your face or into your eyes so definitely always safety first you might find it quite difficult to remove because the bezel is adhesive down to the side of it um, I'm using my finger to put a little bit pressure prying it open at the same time using the uh, metal prying tool to cut off the adhesive so if you can see that this little white tape 
that is the adhesive that is taping down the screen so what I like to do is to go behind the screen tape to cut it open because you try not to cut that black plastic once you have that cut open let's go ahead and just uh, open up the bezel by just removing it and this is what I was referring to the adhesive tape is white and then when you try to cut it open try not to cut the, the back plastic you want to cut the one above it the white tape once you have cut it open the next step is to go ahead and get a tweezer or something that you can pull the double-sided tape so this tape here is right underneath the bright, um, bottom right corner if you can see that little uh, tape right here I'm just pointing it down here on the bottom right corner um, it's a very sticky adhesive tape okay I'm just pulling at the same time I'm turning it around okay I'm trying to go underneath the laptop here if you can see it uh, the reason is because if you go above like on the top you might crack the screen or uh, break the tape so if you level out same level at the bottom like that you can keep pulling and the thing would just keep coming okay and that is the uh, adhesive tape that is holding down the screen okay you want to work it on the same on the bottom left corner and I recommend to uh, See, I pull it too fast, too quickly. I just snap that thing. Be patient with this. You do not want to break it because if you do, then it's really, really, really difficult to pull it up. So at this time. I'm holding the screen as you can see and we're pulling it because this is the last tape if you're not holding the screen and you're pulling the thing uh, the screen might just pull the cable and the webcam all together with it so you want to hold the screen down don't have to hold it too tight just hold it down while you're pulling the tape once both of the tape are removed the, uh, the LCD should just come right off very easily and this is the reason why I was telling you to hold the thing because the connector is still connected to the screen. Okay, let's go ahead and remove just to peel it back. Have to remove it just to peel it back. And once you peel the thing back, and there's another one here. So let's peel it all the way back. And at this point, you want to push it away from you push the connector away from you and that's how you remove it now this is the uh, the screen uh, take a look here it says NT156 WHW N34 what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen um, so that you can um, you know buy the tools the replacement screen and also the adhesive tape to re-tape the screen back down all right here's the replacement screen and um, the one that i got is n156hca-eab so it's just compatible version of the screen uh, there's a lot of varieties of it but as long as I think this is the 30 pin connector and if the screen is the same size and right around the same model the the N156 model I think uh, you can uh, give it a try okay so since I have this extra screen this new screen laying around here so I'll be using uh, this model here 
instead of the recommended model by HP. All right, so let's remove the uh, broken screen. This is the broken screen here and get the new screen. So you just have to do the reverse process at this point here. Go ahead and slide the connector back in. Make sure it's all the way in and you want to pull that little cable, give it a little tug so that you can, you know, have a secure connection and it doesn't move it around. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and get this double-sided adhesive tape to re-tape the screen back down. Um, again, I'll link it down description below, direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement and the tools for this repair. So what I like to do is I'll put it right in the top here um, on the base and I'll slide it down to where I can see that that position at the very bottom here. So the next person ever, if you crack the screen again, then the next person who need to replace the screen, they know where to look for that tape to pull it for the second time. So give it a little slack all the way down so that the next person can find where the tape is. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this thing off. And at this point, I'm not going to lay down the screen. So we just lay it flat down. And kind of position to the very corner, you want to make sure that it's, it's positioned right. And once it is, just give it a little press. Okay. And let's install the bezel. So I like not, not to peel the film because I'll let the customer to peel the film uh, themselves. So they still have a feeling of brand new screen. So what I'm doing right now is to pull this little bracket here so that the bezel can go ahead and sit it down. Give it a little pull, making sure all the cable is hidden underneath that because some cables are trying to stick out. Okay. I like to press it down on the top first. I have the tip here to the very far left. For my reason, I leave this thing on, but you should peel it off so that you make things easier. So this is where I have this little cable just sticking out. I like to go ahead and hide it. Okay. I think I have it. I think I have everything. Now when I press the bezel, you notice my left hand is supporting in the back here because you do not want to press without any support. You might break the screen for the second time. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to close it gently. Reconnect the battery, and that should be it. Reconnect the back cover. Very straightforward. Just press it down.
if you do find this video is helpful or i'm just asking if you can smash the like button i really appreciate and if you want to show your gratitude uh, to support the work that i do and my channel please feel free to click on youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to uh, share your gratitude you know give some tips and i really appreciate you for doing that and of course if you have any question comment down below i do read the comments and if if you need an answer or any uh, questions uh, just comment down below and I'll, I'll answer you from there let's re-tape everything back together um, just position it and then press it down simple as that nothing really fancy all right I hope this video really helps and again any question comment down below um, feel free to smash on the like button thanks for watching until next time bye now